drivers are on the edge, and Max Verstappen is ready to explode. The FIA's new rule is shaking the F1 world, sparking outrage that could lead to a full-blown mutiny. Red Bull is struggling, Max's title hopes are slipping, and now he's being silenced. Could this be the final push that drives the reigning champion out of the sport? This explosive situation is brewing, and it's only getting hotter. At just 26 years old, Max Verstappen is already a seasoned veteran in Formula One. While many believe his peak years are still ahead of him, there's a growing possibility that these years may not be spent in F1. Max has made it clear that his future might lie elsewhere, especially with his interest in other racing disciplines like Le Mans. His frustration with the sport, particularly with the direction of upcoming regulations, has been no secret. Throughout his career, Max has faced several challenges, both on and off the track, but the weekend in Singapore seemed to mark a turning point for him. Despite handling on-track drama and even the internal team struggles over the past year, Verstappen has drawn a clear line when it comes to what he calls the off-track nonsense. Max has particularly expressed his discontent with the FIA's restrictions, feeling that they limit his freedom of expression. Speaking about how this has affected him during the Singapore weekend, he said, These kinds of things definitely decide my future as well, when you can't be yourself or you have to deal with these kinds of silly things. He added, Now I am at the stage of my career where you don't want to be dealing with this all the time. It's really tiring. For me, that is not a way of continuing in the sport, that's for sure. It's clear that Verstappen's patience with Formula One is being tested, and the future of his career in the sport remains uncertain. And Verstappen wasn't alone in thinking the situation with the FIA's restrictions was unnecessary and overblown. Other F1 drivers voiced their opinions, with some even laughing at the absurdity of it all. It's said that the topic sparked jokes in the GPDA, Grand Prix Drivers Association, group chat. A common defense drivers raise is that motorsport is one of the few sports where fans hear everything the athletes say, but this punishment was for something said during media duties. Moreover, Max has openly shared that the limitations on his freedom of expression have made him reconsider his future in Formula One. He said, if you can't really be yourself to the fullest, then it's better not to speak. He added, but that's what no one wants because then you become a robot and that's not how you should be going about it in the sport. He firmly believes that showing emotions is an essential part of any sport, especially racing. You should be able to show emotions in a way. That's what racing is about, any sport. He even feels deeply let down by the FIA, especially considering the voluntary work he's done for them and the small favors he has granted when asked. Despite this sense of betrayal, Verstappen isn't without support. The GPDA, which acts like a union for F1 drivers, has stepped in to back him. GPDA steps in. For those unfamiliar, the Grand Prix Drivers Association GPDA represents Formula One drivers. Its current chairman, Alex Wurz, quickly came to Verstappen's defense. Wurz stated that the punishment handed to Max was excessive and unwarranted. Though the initial conversation about Max's situation may have generated laughs, the GPDA is treating this issue very seriously, standing up for the champion and ensuring his voice is heard. Alex Wurtz, the chairman of the GPDA, has shared that their strategy is to resolve problems internally, away from the public eye. He said, personally, I always believe, and we also do this at the GPDA, we solve it internally, we don't go through the media. This approach is rooted in the desire to keep the sport unified and avoid unnecessary drama. Wurtz explained, very rarely does something go from the GPDA to the media, because we simply try to solve things internally for the sake of the sport. Wurtz believes that drivers should be allowed to express themselves to some extent. He said, I think drivers have to be allowed to express themselves authentically. However, he clarified that while expression is important, it should not be offensive or discriminatory. According to him, the drivers have all come a long way in that regard. He also feels the punishment handed to Verstappen was excessive, stating, for me personally, the penalty is too severe. 
While Wurtz is handling matters quietly, FIA President Mohammed Ben Sulayem stirred up further controversy with comments that upset not just Max Verstappen, but also Lewis Hamilton. Sulayem made remarks that seemed to draw a strange comparison between motorsport and rap music, saying, we have to differentiate between our sport motorsport and rap music. He went on to add, we're not rappers, you know, they say the F word how many times per minute. We are not on that. That's them and we are us. Hamilton, who perceived these comments to have racial undertones, was not pleased. And the situation has only added to the growing tensions within the sport. A stand against racism by Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton didn't hold back after FIA President Mohammed Ben Sulayem's comments comparing motorsport to rap music. The comparison, given that rap music is predominantly associated with black culture, felt to Lewis like a veiled insult. Hamilton interpreted it as a claim that civility separates them from animals, which he found incredibly distasteful and borderline racist. For a figurehead like Ben Sulayem, such words don't reflect well. As Lewis pointed out, the FIA president has seemingly made an absolute mess of things whenever he opens his mouth. Despite his differences with Max Verstappen on the track, Lewis stood in solidarity with him, especially in light of the controversy surrounding FIA penalties. Hamilton didn't mince words when he said, I think it is a bit of a joke, to be honest. He continued, this is the pinnacle of the sport. Mistakes are made. I certainly wouldn't be doing it, and I hope Max doesn't do it. Hamilton's stance wasn't just about supporting Max. It was a broader critique of how out of touch Ben Sulayem might be with the very sport he leads. Hamilton also raised an important point about the so-called gentleman driver image in F1, a term often used throughout the sport's history. But, as Hamilton pointed out, F1 drivers have rarely been the model of propriety. He cited past champions like James Hunt, Alain Prost, and even Kimi Raikkonen as examples of drivers who were anything but clean cut. They were playboys, potty mouths, and as ungentlemanly as it gets. Today's Formula One drivers, especially after Michael Schumacher set the gold standard for professionalism, have become far more brand safe, easy on the ears, and well behaved. This shift has made them more polished, but pushing them to be even more controlled could rob the sport of its emotional appeal. F1 is about the driver's passion, their raw emotions, and taking that away would make the sport boring and less emotionally compelling. Simply put, these drivers are more than just athletes, they are the face of the sport. To FIA President Mohammed Ben Sulayem, Hamilton had a clear message. It's not all about you, Mohammed. His tendency to meddle in matters that frustrate both drivers and fans could be doing more harm than good. Hamilton's advice? Maybe it's time to stop sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Max Verstappen has been vocal about his uncertainty regarding his long-term future in Formula One. Incidents like these only expedite the process, making it more likely that the Dutch champion will leave the sport sooner rather than later. Verstappen has dreams beyond F1, especially his desire to race and win at the prestigious Le Mans 24 hours with his father. But could Max leave for another team before stepping out of F1 entirely? Verstappen's trust in certain figures and teams could point toward a future with Aston Martin. With Red Bull's internal issues mounting, Max might look elsewhere. Aston Martin with its world-class team and the limitless budget of Lawrence Stroll seems like a strong candidate. Verstappen has already won titles with key figures like Honda, Adrian Newey and Dan Fallows, all of whom could find a home at Aston Martin. Would we see Max wearing green in the future? It ticks many boxes for the champion. Whether he stays with Red Bull or makes a switch, it's clear that Max Verstappen won't be in F1 for the long haul. The sport is changing, and so is Max's patience. So what do you think of the changing dynamics in F1 with the new rules of FIA? Comment below your views and subscribe for more such videos.